Within cPanel itself, there are many different website statistic tools that you can use to track your statistics and track your traffic. Now in this video, I'll be talking about how to use AW Stats and I'll give you an explanation on what features are available in AW Stats so that you can apply it to your business and improve your business. So right now I'm at cPanel and if I scroll up a bit, you'll notice an area for logs. Logs is the area which you can find information about your website, such as the latest visitors, the bandwidth that you're using, webalizer, access logs, error logs, and more. So if you go ahead and click on AW Stats, and we'll click on View, and it'll open up in a new window here. And the good thing about AW Stats is depending on how long you were with that actual company or web hosting company, you would be able to access logs up to that point. So let's say, for example, I wanted to access my August statistics, 2008, press OK, and there we go. And as you can see here, you pretty much can go through at the left hand side, see your monthly history, see different things about it like unique visitors, number of visits, pages, hits, and bandwidth that people actually took up. And you can also see what countries people are from when they visit you and the IP addresses that visit you. And you can use AW stats to really detect security measures too, such as what type of IP addresses are, you know, hitting you many, many, many times. And as you can see here, you have robots and spiders. What robots are coming to you from the different search engines? We have Google, Yahoo, Alexa, and you have the visits, duration. Let's say for example that from zero to 30 seconds, people stayed on the page, 2,000 people, 60%. People that stayed about 30 to two minutes, about 371. People that stayed on my page for an hour, 208 people. So it kind of gives you an idea how long people stay on your web page. And the pages, the URLs that people are accessing, and the operating systems that people are using. These are just great statistics to use so you can figure out, okay, I got 1,724 people using Macintosh or Linux. Let's say, for example, you run a software and it's only compatible to Windows. And let's say that the hits that you're getting is 50,000. If that's the case, you might want to consider, you know, making it compatible to Linux or Macintosh, things like that. And of course the browsers, who's hitting your site, about the same 50% almost for each one. And that's not surprising because a lot of people are using Firefox nowadays. And you can see other people who are using Safari, Netscape, so that you can get a good idea and make sure that your website is compatible with these types of browsers. And you have the origin of different search engines. What search engines drive the most traffic? in this case, Google. And then you can see what external pages are linking directly to you. Some people are linking directly. These are basically, how are people getting to your site? From what site? And then you have search keyword phrases. How are people reaching your site? And I like to use that section mainly because if, if I'm not ranked well on those areas, what I could do is use something like PPC pay-per-click advertising and try to link on those keywords. So now you understand a basic explanation of how to use AW stats and learn how people are finding you with keywords and such and how people are linking to you so you can take the necessary security precautions or even better, you can find people who are promoting your site, you know, approach them, see what you can do to help or see what you can do to improve your site.